Hi, now I'm going to talk about the political spectrum in this country. Now, as you know, the political spectrum is supposed to look like this. Um, this is the first image I'm showing. Uh, basically, it's basically described as it is really. That's supposed to be what the political spectrum, that is supposed to be the way the po political spectrum is in this country. Um, obviously, with they're supposed to, with the talk conservatives, supposed to be sort of centre right, liberal democrat centrist, liberal centrist, if you like, and um, Labour is the um, centre left to to sort of left wing. However, the political spectrum is actually more like this. As you can see, the political spectrum in this country is basically. The only sort of political political party realistically on the right of this political spectrum, which is sort of like sort of like centre right, possibly right wing, is probably the Reform Party. Pretty much the Reform Party, actually. Um, the Conservatives are supposed to be centre right conservative, but they're not. They're more sort of going towards the left under their under their recent policies. So probably not far, not not too far, sort of like. To the right of what Labour are, but Labour are sort of, sort of pretty much left wing, to sort of like going almost far left. So yeah, that gives you a bit of a clue as to the political spectrum in this country. And really, I think you need to have a look at this little guide to find out exactly who you should be voting for. Um, obviously, I just think it's time for a change. Really, um, none of the political parties are really worth voting for because of the their connection to the WEF net zero which is pretty much going to be which is pretty much going to be folly really to be honest with you um, and to tell you the truth I, I can't see it making a massive difference to the environment anyway really um, trying to you know abandoning net zero China has already done it um, so yeah it just shows you basically just what what folly it really is really um, it's not it's never going to make a huge amount of difference we can try and sort of help the environment a little bit i'd like to help them in, in a way i would like to help the environment but it's just never going to happen it's just basically you just need to it's not you, you, you you're never going to get it completely at net zero it's just it's just it's just basically impossible and really just an excuse for putting all the electric bills up so and gas bills even so anyway take care everyone see you soon